Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and today I'm going to show you how to get your next 1000 customers. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mohan Pober and I'm here to share and document my journey in business, been involved in more than 10 businesses over the last few years, made a lot of money, lost a lot of money, and I'm here to share with you what worked for me, what didn't work for me, and also share with you that you can buy existing businesses, you can grow your business by acquisitions, and don't just focus on starting them from scratch and growing them one client at a time. That's what this channel is all about, but I'm also expanding on different topics, so feel free to subscribe. I'm posting daily, so hit the notification uh, button so you won't miss out. And yeah, that's it. Subscribe, I promise you won't regret it. And let me know in the comments below and all that stuff, what do you think. But let's get to today's topic. So how do you get your next, not just one, but 1,000 subscribers? There are many ways to get new, uh, sorry, clients, not subscribers. Subscribers are for, for YouTube, not for a business, right? So um, not a regular business at least. So how do you get the next 1,000 customers? So many people will tell you you need to write advertising campaigns. You need to do direct mail, outbound campaigns and, and social media and sending letters and going to events and doing speaking gigs and and doing joint ventures and even I might tell you hey just go and buy existing business and then just get your thousand customers at once so there's so many different ways right there's partnerships you can do there's different strategies to go out there and get customers and all those different ways what do you follow what will actually give you the most amount of leverage and what will actually give you another extra thousand customers not just one because one client yeah we all can get one client every now and then but is it really going to help you to build a sustainable business or is it just like a, a, a fluke every once in a, in a while thing, right? So what is the best strategy to follow? So to begin with, with everything you want to accomplish in business, you want to go out there and get customers, you need to go back to your fundamentals. You won't be able to get a lot of customers. Maybe you'll get one or few. But in the end of the day, it comes down to how can you have the best product out there? And if you don't have the best product out there, go back to your fundamentals and think with yourself, what can I do that will give to my clients at least 10 or 100 times the value that they're going to pay for it? And you got to have that as a fundamental. Unless you have a good product that people believe, say, hey, I can't live without that product and I would pay at least 10 or 100 times on that product, it's going to be really hard to promote it at scale because eventually people will understand and will know and it's going to be really hard for you to scale something that isn't really working i don't care what it is unless it's really good to begin with and really providing value to people it's going to be really hard to promote it at scale so remember to begin with don't think about your business and getting next customers as a i don't i have a marketing problem or i have a sales problem it all starts with a product problem. Unless you have a product that people really need, that people really ideally can't live without, or if they get it, they get 10 or 100 times or ideally 1,000 times the value that they actually pay for it, that's the first thing to focus on. I don't care what, how much good is your marketing or how good is your sales process, you got to have a good business product, a good product to begin with. Then when you have that fundamental of a good business, then it's about figuring out what works and with many businesses to know what is the best so let's there's two ways right let's go back to the ways to grow a business one of them is organically by doing more sales and marketing and the other way is by acquisitions to go out there and buy businesses so organically it's about finding the best platform to market or to advertise or to find your prospects and then to sell to them right so ideally if you don't know where to start should you start with facebook advertising google should you start with maybe newspaper advertising on or direct mail what should you do i tell you if you don't know see what your competitors are doing and just do that literally just start with that because it's probably working if your competitors are promoting all over the place in a specific newspaper you might want to try that newspaper and eventually with business like if you don't have if you're not a seven figure business all you need is just to find one platform that works and repeat it again and again and again that's all to get to seven figure all you need is to find one platform to get your clients and you need to repeat that process again and again and again and that alone will get you to seven figure literally with just one good product you don't need more than that then um again that's organic right and repeat those things again and again it's about finding what works and repeating it and not always finding different ways to think about what will work like don't test too many things focus on one make it work then it's about the growing back acquisitions right growing back acquisitions is about finding businesses that have the clients that you want when you buy a business you can buy a business and get access to literally hundreds of or thousands of customers 
from the moment of owning that business. And same process applied here. As with marketing and getting one client at a time, when you buy a business, it's about finding the best uh, deal flow strategy or marketing strategy that works to find those businesses. And same process applies, find what works and test different things. Here, it's more about individually, what can you relate to? Are you better just going to events potentially and talking to people one-on-one? -on -one? Or maybe you prefer to do something more techy and more, I guess, um, automatic to find those leads. And then also do those things again and again and again. Obviously, that there's a process there involved in how to buy those businesses. So that's in a nutshell, guys. Remember, it's about finding what works and repeating it again and again and again. And at the end of the day, it comes down to having good fundamentals of having a good offer and service or value um, in return for the money that you're going to get for your service and product. And also, as a quick reminder, make sure to budget those things, right? So when you go out there and do marketing or where you go out there and look for businesses to buy, you want to have some budget in advance so you know, hey, I can spend that and my business will still survive. Because remember, the, the biggest reason for businesses to shut down is lack of, of cash flow. So make sure you have that cash flow and it's budgeted, it's budgeted if it's even a word, for a, the right period of time, right? So make sure you have all those things. But that's it in a nutshell, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos. And let me know in the comments below what is the best process for you to find new clients or to find new businesses to buy. Let me know in the comments below and I'll personally get back to you. And if you want to see how you can work with us on buying your first business or growing yours by acquisitions, go to moanpaber.com forward slash quiz and see the process there. And there's lots of free values there. We have free group. We have a lot of free content things that I can only put outside of YouTube. So that's it guys for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.